Some big news that could have a major impact on downtown D.C. Ted Leonsis, the owner of the Washington Capitals and Washington Wizards, could move the sports teams out of Capital One Arena and into Virginia. It is a move that could devastate downtown, but one that could prove, well, to be a big move for another big tenant for Northern Virginia. Our Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Drew Wilder is live now with new reaction on this potential move to Potomac Yard. Hey, Drew. Hey, good evening. I've been going around to local businesses in this community all day long here in Potomac Yard in Alexandria. And earlier I went into a local hair salon. I was talking with the manager, introducing myself, explaining what I was doing. There was a guy in there who was getting his hair cut a few chairs down. And from his chair, he yells, we don't want an arena over here. And that seems to be the general sentiment that I've been getting from Alexandrians today. While we're hearing from them, we are also getting some perspective tonight on just how much money a potential move to Alexandria could bring into the local economy. Excitement and apprehension are spilling out of Capital One Arena as Virginia lawmakers move forward on a proposal to build the Wizards and Capitals next arena in Alexandria. Monumental Sports and Entertainment has not said it would move the teams, but on Monday, a 12 member commission of Virginia lawmakers unanimously advanced the project that would include a new arena, convention center slash music venue, hotel, and about $200 million in money to support transportation infrastructure. Alexandria's Delray neighborhood is is just down the road from the proposed Potomac Yard location and is known for its quaint, hyper local vibe. A vibe Alexandrians worry could be in jeopardy if an arena is built. Yeah, I'm not loving the idea. Why not? Um, I feel like the infrastructure just for the traffic isn't there. The finer details have yet to be revealed, but could soon become public because they would need to be approved by the full state legislature early next year. But Alexandrians just went through another controversial issue as the city council eliminated single family only housing zoning. The wishes of their uh, constituents weren't listened to. And then this pops up, it just seems like strange timing to me. Though the timing might not be better for monumental sports owner Ted Leonsis, who has been unhappy with Capital One Arena for years and could find a way out of his lease in a few years. Lisa Delpy Narati is a sports management professor at George Washington University, and she estimates Alexandria could bring in between 50 and 60 million dollars in new tax revenue should the teams move to Virginia. Do you get the sense that monumental sports is very serious about moving to Alexandria, or could this be an opportunity to? hold it back up to D.C. and say, what are you going to offer us in exchange? It's a leverage point. And even though the, you know, this first pass through Virginia legislature, uh, Del Rey, those communities over there are, are wealthy, knowledgeable. They know how to put up a fight. Del Rey's Citizen Association tells News 4 it's waiting for more information before making an official statement. But the community is not waiting. It would just really impact the quality of living because I live almost, I'd say, not even a block away from Potomac Yards. And I think it'd be a nightmare to live that close. So far, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin has not commented on this proposal. Neither has Alexandria's Mayor Justin Wilson. However, the president of the Del Rey Citizens Association tells me that they had their regular meeting scheduled for tomorrow night. And once this news broke, they made a last minute change. And the president tells me that Alexandria's mayor plans to join them for their meeting tomorrow night to start to answer a few questions about this. So you guys, I certainly get the impression that we will be getting a lot more information from elected officials about this proposed deal sometime between now and tomorrow night. Back yeah, to you. This ball is rolling. Oh, yeah, and no doubt mm -hmm. people have plenty of opinions one way or another about this one. All right, Drew Wilder, thank you. Thanks, Drew.